guys, good morning. Welcome to another Get Ready With Me video. Yes, another because I did do a first one up in the cards. It was a year ago. I'm gonna be doing another one today. So, today I'm going to be trying out new products. Some of which I got from my lovely mother who is supportive AF and a few others that I decided to buy a few days ago. And I was actually supposed to do this video yesterday but I woke up too late and my SD card was not in the camera and I didn't want to be stressed looking for it. On my first morning back at work from my surgery last Friday, yes, I got all of my wisdom teeth out, finally. So it was under general anesthesia, so I was put to sleep. I've got stitches in all four corners of my mouth right now. And I feel like I am fully healed. But not really because the stitches are still there. It takes two weeks for them to be absorbed. But I feel fine. There's no pain. There's no swelling. So, so I've already done my morning skincare. So let's just start with the primer. And since this is a new products video, I will only be mentioning the new products that I have. So yeah, just gonna go start with the primer, which is not new. So, and so for foundation, I will be using the Il Maquillage woke up like this flawless face foundation which I bought online but ended up not paying for it at all I was initially tempted by the try before you buy promo where you get the product for free for 14 days you just have to pay shipping which was like four pounds and after 14 days if you don't like it you can send it back and if you do you just let them know and then they will debit the full price which it says on the receipt on my online receipt that it's $58 and that's £44. But I think that already includes shipping, so minus the £4 shipping that I already paid. Minus the £4 shipping that I already paid, it would be £40. So bish, it's a high-end brand. I did not know that. I didn't do my research, so I was just like, yeah, let's try it. If I don't like it, if I do like it but I don't want to get charged, I can just say that I didn't like it Goodbye and send it back but in the end, the delivery process was such a hassle it was, such, it was a whole thing I tried to track it but on the website, there were like numerous there were numerous attempts to deliver it and it kept saying, wrong address return to sender so I emailed them because they actually email you when you're supposed to get the product already they email you they're trying to check in to see whether you like it how are you finding it so i replied that i haven't even gotten the parcel yet they didn't doubt me like really i wasn't telling a lie it didn't arrive yet they were happy to send me another one so as more days passed the number of staff that i was talking to via email just increased from one to four and i could not keep track of who i was talking to so in the end i i so in the end i had to tell them i'm so sorry um i'm getting confused of who i'm talking to and you're asking, and you're asking me to confirm very different um order numbers so i just politely said can you just cancel the order that way I don't have to be worrying about where the parcel was, if it's arriving or not, or if I still gotta pay for it in the end. So I just, I cancelled the order and they were very understanding. They were just like, we're so sad that you had to experience this and all the polite stuff. But lo and behold, it still came through. And I did check my email um, yesterday, just yesterday. It this one arrived like a few days ago, I think. I checked the email and it, they did say that on their system it appears that one product was sent out for free just because it was such a fact getting it delivered. So yay for Il Maquillage customer reps! And like I said, I didn't know that it was high end so. <laughs> so yun. Then I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. To set the foundation so i don't know how to use it but yes that i let's go see i don't know how to use it because it's closed off like that like my cover better how do you get the powder out 
Okay, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to use a puff or a brush, but well, so paano siya malabas? Ganti na. Sino shake lang ba or is there a different way to do this? So I don't know. I don't know. Ginada nun ba? Tayo magsayang. This is also not a drugstore brand. I don't know if I'm doing anything or I'm doing nothing and just wasting product, but tama na kasi sayang. Next thing I will do is brow. So actually, I was thinking of holding off on this video and just wait until I purchase the new L'Oreal. The new. L'Oreal brow product, the Unbeliever brow. But sabi ko, I have a lot of brow products still lying around, so I didn't want to buy something new and just not use all the other ones out there. I have a tiny room with very many things, so I don't want to add to the clutter. Ang strong ba? Normally, I would just do eyeliner next and then mascara. But since this is a video of trying new things, let's go and try the Kiko eyeshadows. So I've got yellow, peach, that could also pass as a blush maybe. And this one is more expensive than the other two by two pounds, two, three pounds. It is a metallic one and look at that, that's so pretty. We had lot of slimy mirror. It might be more expensive because of the mirror. I don't wanna try it. I don't wanna try it. Disclaimer, I don't wear eyeshadow at all. These are my first eyeshadow purchases for myself. Like, my mom has bought me a few glitter eyeshadows when I was younger, but I never really used it because I really don't like wearing eyeshadow. So on the rare occasion that I do want to put some shade on my eyes, so I just grab my contour powder and just contour. But these, I don't know how to use them, so experiment tayo, girl! Also, I bought a brush from Kiko as well. Kahit na alam kong hindi ko siya kailangan because may brush na ako. So I already have this one. Also from Kiko. And I bought another one. Sana hindi naman parehong brush yung binili ko, no? No, they're different. <laughs> so it's this one. The Kiko Slanted Blending Brush. Okay, so this yellow one is the High Pigment Wet and Dry Eyeshadow. Shade number 19. It's so nice to look at. <laughs> Experiment with me, guys. Dami nating time today, no? Walang work. Walang paso. Meron, meron. It's just, I woke up early for this. Ah! Look at that. Experiment with me. Anong minagawa ko? Paano ba to? Anong minagawa ko? May nakikita ba kayo? Zoom ko kayo. Ah, zoom is weird. So, dapat ganyan lang ako, no? Teka lang, so pag wet to dry, kailangan ba wet ang brush? Wet na lang natin, no? <laughs> May nakikita ba kayo? Okay. <laughs> It feels so weird. Para akong may gala ka, te. May clubbing, the noin. But, yeah, I am actually enjoying it. And this peachy one, the same type of eyeshadow. It's high pigment, wet and dry eyeshadow, shade number 36. This could really pass on as blush as well. Try ko nga. Try ko ng blush on. Wait lang. I need to confirm. Does wet and dry eyeshadow mean the brush should be wet? Hindi ko alam. Pero basain na nga lang. Binasa ko na yung una eh. Basain ko na lang din, no? 
okay. Help me naman, Michelle D. Ann Plutz. Tama ba ang ginagawa ko? Kung hindi pa. Well. One is the metallic one, which is in the shade 233. Look at that. So water eyeshadow, does that mean now na kailangan basa ang brush? And since I've run out of brushes, pwede ka mine? Let me try. <laughs> ang ganda niya. Ang ganda niya. Move on na lang. Let's just move on to the next eye, shall we? I feel like I did a good job. <laughs> for for a beginner, it looks okay. It's not for day use, I know. It's not for work. It's not for work. You know what I'm talking so. Okay, okay. Let's move on. Next to eyes is eyeliner and mascara. I will be using an eyeliner and a mascara both from Too Faced. So. Too Faced, the Kahneman Charot. <laughs> so the eyeliner will be the Better Than Sex eyeliner. Parang ayaw kong gamitin. Alam ko ang mahal nito eh. Sayang din naman no, hindi mo gamitin. So, ito niya, zoom in ulit. Para makita niyo yung kalat ko when doing eyeliner. Yes, yes. This is why hindi ako naga eyeshadow <laughs> because alam ko magkakalat ako sa eyeliner. Face, it's the damn girl, those lashes are thick. Shut up. I think the it's just damn girl. Damn girl. Yes. Zoom in a net. You like. And it will be blush. I was going to use my old one, but since parang pwede naman ito, the eyeshadow earlier, so let's see if I can use that. 
Pwede naman, di ba? Interchangeable. Eyeshadow. Blush. Contour. <laughs> diba? Tipid tips. So, Okay, okay. Mm, Finally, last. Finally, last one is lipstick. And this is from MAC. It's tiny, but it's from MAC. So, this is my first MAC lipstick. Like, ever. Because, really not into high end. And also, when I think of MAC, I think of Ruby Woo. The shade. I think of the shade Ruby Woo. So, it's bright red, it's bold, and I'm not really into bold lipsticks except for that one face in 2016 when I tried all the different shades from Colourpop. The, the matte? The matte line, I can't even can't remember what the exact line was, but it was a matte liquid lipstick line that had all different shades. I tried a lot of different shades in that one time in my life. So my mom got me a MAC lipstick that is nude. And I reiterate, I do not use high-end brands at all. I love my Maybellines and my L'Oreal's and my Kiko's. So, so anyway, this nude shade is called 813 Mocha Satin Lipstick. And also, before I wasn't a fan of anything not matte, it had to be matte. But when I realized that they actually feel like cement on my lips, I just stopped using it. Ayun, sige na na, lipstick na. Kasi, malilit ka na besh. Disclaimer lang din, this is not a routine. I don't do this every day. This is not an everyday makeup. This is a trying out new product, get ready with me video. So, I don't do this every day kasi hindi ko kaya besh. I can't wake up this early every day para mag wake up ng ganito. So, so that's done. The hair will have to do. <laughs> um, Alright, so that's it. I'm going to work looking like this I don't think it's over the top though like I mean on camera I think I look fine like it's not over the top but in front of the mirror I feel like girl son and party mo gunner but I think throughout the day it will it won't hold I feel like it will fade like when I get to work because of the because of all the walking and the pack train and the pack station, I think it's to show. Yeah, and that is the end of this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Like me experimenting on stuff I have no prior experience and knowledge about. So like, comment, subscribe. See you in my next one. Pasok na ako. Bye!